This weekend, VAR is always coming into the news. This weekend, significantly, particularly in your own game. What's your view as it as a player? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think it's. I think we're going through some teething problems at the minute. Um, I think for myself, the main thing is the communication between the fans, the players, and the staff. Because you don't really know what's going on. You just know. The longer it goes on, the more chance you've got of a decision being overturned. But I think in the long run, it can work. Now, listen, we always start the show by asking our guests to tell us a little bit of something about themselves that mm -hmm. we may not know about you. So, um, yeah, John, yeah. you going to uh, tell us something about yourself? Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you something about myself. I was in uh, Wexford in Ireland uh, last week and I went past a piercing and tattoo shop and I got my ear pierced. What? <laughs> yeah, I got my ear pierced. So you did? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even notice that. Is that, is that a joke? <laughs> no, that's a, true, that's a true piercing because I'm cool. <laughs> it's really weird because I was in Galway and I got my nipple pierced. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh so my I've god. Yeah, and are you happy with it? Well, I think so. <laughs> you know what? You know why it is? Because I'm hoping that I'm, I want to be a groovy granddad. So when I'm 70. And people go, oh, who's he in the corner? He go, I don't know, but he's got his ear pierced. So, are you gonna... <laughs> <laughs> so come on, we've warmed you up now. Um, my not so interesting fact is that I've never stepped foot in a nightclub. Never, <laughs> never been ever in a nightclub. In a nightclub. Are you d not a drinker at all? Yeah, because I, I'm not a drinker, I just don't think that I would enjoy it. You can't enjoy a nightclub without a drink, drink, can you? And... Well, I don't know, because it, de it depends whether you're a dancer or, or anything like that. Can't dance to save my life either. So, what, what would you and do? I'm afraid of the dark as well, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, Andros, you started your career at Spurs, spent one season with Peter, I think, did you? Yeah, yeah. I trained with him. I don't think we stepped on a field together. But obviously, with, with Andros, um, I remember him coming through. He was part of a good, mm. a good group, you know. Obviously, Harry Kane was in that group and um, Tom Carroll, Tom Carroll was, uh, Ryan uh, Brian Mason. Mason. Yeah. He had some good players in his youth team, you know, coming through, and they used to train with us um, every now and then. You could see that they, were, you know, they would go on to, to bigger things, as, as those four mm. obviously did with, with Andros as well. But, I mean, straight away he came over and had a, had a confidence about him. Uh, he was looking to, you know, take people on, get shots away like, as he plays now, but he was doing that as a 17-, 18-year-old. I think the first team players used to hate me because you know what you know what they're like. They want you. Just oh, I didn't to get want it. to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we had that resilience, to be honest, because myself, Jermaine Defoe, Robbie exactly. Keane, we were telling oh, we were letting him know. It was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> but you're talking about that internal confidence, and, and when Gabby went through the list of places that you've played, that's part of your development, going out on loan. Yeah, when you're coming from a glamorous team like Spurs as well, and you mm. go somewhere like I don't know, Yeovil. Uh, tell us a bit... Sorry, Yeovil. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It was a bit of a culture shock. It was, because I was, I was 17 at the time as well. It was literally... I was living at home. I had my food cooked for me. Everything was done for me. Then you literally... You're on a train two and a half hours later and you're staying on top of a pub. Uh, it was a complete culture shock. And obviously, I was schooled well at Spurs. I knew the right food uh, to eat and that sort of side of it. So when you're... You look at the menu and it's burgers and fries. You think, all right, how am I going to survive? <laughs> um, went to the local Argos, got an uh, electric stove. Uh, yeah, I was illegally cooking pasta and boiling chicken in my hotel room. That's amazing, <laughs> yeah, amazing. Really? But, but that is the right work yeah. ethic, the right commitment. God, what an attitude for a 17-year-old. That's amazing. And that's obviously yeah. why yeah. He's, he's made it to the level he had.